Well, there's certainly more than one rat at Cafe Aroma, that much I know. Despite Ed Vogley's express promises that he only granted a one-year lease to Nomad Northwest in order to more readily change the lease the following year and just substitute in a different rental amount, in point of fact, as a lessor, he's absconding with all the hard work and the $14,000 of hard cash invested in the lease premises by refusing to renew the lease. Okay? Now, he predicated all of this using the promises that he and Cafe Aroma would have a long-term relationship with Nomad, and he talked about running our dogs together, our German short hair pointers. And in my first Nomad video, I even thanked Ed using, uh, Ed and his wife, uh, using our German short hair pointer. Okay? There it is right there. And then, as you'll see in the website, his tune changed completely. You know, 180, the minute the construction was done. That's because he had his build out now. See? Now, I didn't realize that at first, but I do now. Now, when I did leases in corporate America years ago, I won awards because I was ruthless and I never cut anybody any slack. Well, this time, Ed Vogley, as a neighbor, okay, someone you should be able to trust, he took some slack and he put the screws to Nomad Northwest and to the entire community of customers and to the 80 artists who uh, curated there in the past year. So I'm telling the community and I'm helping Nomad find a lawyer. That's all there is to it. I will not be done with this until it is done. Follow along at my journal page and at the website, Cafe Roma Shoreline. Thank you, and have a nice day. We're here with King Cast and uh, passing out some flyers, and just met Amy Bliss, who is in a public place right now, and she respectfully asked me to back away from her car, which I did, and uh, that's the story. Now, the young lady over here across the street walking her dog, she had no problem with me. I took a flyer. She said she was pissed off about the whole situation. So, that's where we are. That was Amy Bliss who just respectfully asked me to back away from her car, so that's what I did. We're in a public forum and I'm on a public sidewalk, so that's the law, so I backed away from her. I took a picture of her and some video, which is perfectly permissible as well. Basically what happened is two young ladies leased this space from Ed Narta, who's right. the, 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 oh, the lessee. Ones leased from them. That's Ed, correct, right. and, and they, they lease from uh, I forget the, the name of the S, S, uh, SK or something. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so bottom line is that during all this, all these negotiations, I was there and I helped with construction and I've done like commercial leasing for wireless carriers and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I went to law school and you know, practiced mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. stuff, but I wasn't as stringent on Ed as I should have been because you don't assume your neighbor's going to hook you. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we said, hey, can we have multiple years? Mm -hmm. And he said, no, the only reason I don't want you to have multiple years is because it just makes it easier next year to just change the rental rate and do right. a new lease. Right. Right. So we rehab the so whole this thing. this the owner of the building, it's not Cafe Aroma. Correct. Yeah. But this is Cafe Aroma we're dealing with. Right, Ed. right, right. And so, he, you know, come to find out. Because they subleased to this place. Basically. That's correct. And so come to find out that the ladies at Nomad were, are basically getting run out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, you know. Uh, Who's run, running them out? Ed, he's not renewing the lease. The guy who uh, owns no. the building? Or no. Or the Cafe Aroma? The Cafe Aroma guy. Okay. Yes, and so now he's probably going to do his own thing. I don't know what he's going to put in the space over here, but, you know, I've got my lawyer friends in town here, and we've got one selected now, but we're trying to get pro bono help right. so we don't have to pay because my guy's going to give us a discount rate, but it's still expensive. Right. Right. And, and even after that, you can't replace what was here. This is a community for artists. This is the only art cooperative in town. And Ed doesn't care. Yeah. You know, I think he's a bit of a sexist also. Yeah. Yeah. And Maybe. I don't know him all. I, I rent the place down at the end here. That's why I'm kind of curious what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know these people. I know the gal at the Cafe Aroma. I know she's a firecracker. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And uh, I know the owners of the building. You know, right. So. I, I had lunch with Steve, their, their yeah, nephew. Steve, yeah, right. Yeah, and I had lunch with him, and he was trying to convince Ed to stop doing this, and Ed said no, just because, basically, one of the women, in particular, stood up to Ed, and, you know, he can't have that. You know, he's misogynist, Albanian, sexist kind of guy, right. and that's that. So, and then I met a doctor who had looked at the space before Elisa and Angela, and she did a video with us in the store talking about how rude Ed was to her. All right. Thank you. I bought it, Nomad Northwest. Take care.